So I'm here with Dale Lane, who's one of the original organisers of Home Camp and very active in the current cost hacking community. So with the current cost meters um, making the data available not only through the display but also as XML through a serial port underneath, uh, I created a Python app that allowed you to visualise that XML and display the historical electricity usage that it's collected. Okay, so let's have a look. The Current Cost app is a, a Python app that reads data from Current Cost Meter, uh, downloading it either directly through a, a serial connection or downloading it from a remote meter over MQTT. So what's MQTT? Uh, MQTT is a messaging uh, transport protocol uh, created by IBM. And this is a Python app, so this will run on any platform that's got Python or any Windows or GUI enabled platform with Python. Yeah, I run it on Windows and Ubuntu, and I have heard people say that they've got it running on Mac as well. Okay, great. Um, the app uses different tabs to show different elements of the data or to show it in different ways. Um, this graph is showing the, the hourly historical usage. Um, by default, when you open it, it's just showing a week, but you can zoom out and pan around and see whichever sort of time periods you're interested in. Um, and the same for daily usage. And what are the green bars? Uh, the green bars make it easier to spot the weekends. So I've got blue for oh, weekdays okay. and green for weekends. Uh, and again, if I zoom out, I can start moving around. Um, you've also got the ability to annotate things of interest, so to remind yourself several months later of why you had a particular peak. Oh, I see. Um, and again, the same for monthly data. This uh, bar that's on all the graphs is a target that I've set myself. Right. Um, you can tell it how much you want to spend a year on electricity, and then it just gives you that as a, a bar drawn on the graph. So you can. So get it's working out what, what your daily usage would need to be yeah. to achieve that price. And for monthly, where it perhaps makes more sense, you can see in the winter, yes, I'm going to go over it a bit. In the summer, I'd expect to be under it a bit. But on the whole, I'm keeping to my target. So it's a nice way of seeing roughly, are you keeping to, and how much you're spending as an annual thing. Right. As well as just showing the history, it also shows averages. So this is what an average day in my house looks like. So you can see I use the most electricity between 7 and 9 at night. Um, and an average week. Tuesdays and Sundays are my big days. Uh, Saturdays, I guess, we tend to go out, so that's why it's slightly reduced. Right. Um, you can also get live data, which is uh, shown on here as the red line. Okay. Um, so what's that? The, that's the live data of your usage. Yeah. As it happens, coming out of your current cost meter. Yeah. So this is currently connected over MQTT right. to my meter at home, and it's showing what I'm using. Right. Also, on, I've overlaid on this the national UK electricity demand from the national grid. Okay. Um, so your left-hand column there is your is your own usage, and the right-hand column is um, access, I should say, is the UK electricity demand in megawatts as opposed to kilowatts. Right. Yeah. And this will automatically, as it as it tends to collect more data, the x-axis will scale automatically to fit it all in. Right. You can also sync what the application stores with the web. Um, it uploads it to a Google App Engine app. Oh, I'll cancel that now. And then, as well as uploading your averages, it also downloads averages for groups that you're in. So, for example, people that live in Eastleigh, it shows me a daily total for this is my latest week in light green. Mm -hmm. And then my average week. So, like, for example, Last Monday, I used more than I normally would. Right. And then it shows the group averages. So for people in Eastleigh, I'm, I seem to be using more electricity than most. Well, last Monday was when we had all the snow, so did you come into the office? That's true. I was working at home that day. That would be why. There's also, uh, for example, a similar thing for groups of users with three-bedroom houses. Um, so you can compare yourself with people with similar home environments to yourself. Um, and the other thing it downloads from the web is everyone and shows 
everyone's daily average as a green cross. So this is for anyone who's using your app and sharing their information? Yeah, everyone who's using the app and syncing it with the web. And then my usage is shown as the red triangle, so I can see where I lie. And it looks like I'm roughly average. I seem to be in clusters mm. in each place. And you can see the outliers at the top and the bottom. Right. So what are the other controls you've got on the bottom there? Are they all related to the graph? Yeah, the toolbar is mainly for controlling the graphs. You can save the graphs to pictures. So once you've got it zoomed and panned to an area that you're interested in, uh, you can save that as a graph. The, the home buttons in the back and forward act as web browser type buttons so you can go back through the changes you've made. Um, as well as exporting to pictures, you can also export the raw data uh, to CSV files if you wanted to do your own graphing in something like Excel. And so, the, how long did it take you to put this, this application together? Um, I've been playing with this off and on for months now. It's something I, I keep tinkering with and adding to when I have a new idea. Um, but there's probably a fair bit of work that's gone into it now. How easy have you found it to work with the current cost meter and, and, and you know, use the whole system for coming up with this kind of information? Um, it's quite easy to use. The issue I've had with the current meter is it only stores hourly history for a day. So every time I've not downloaded data from the meter, for right. longer than a day, you get these big gaps in my graphs. Right. Um, just because I haven't connected often enough and I've lost data. Which is a bit of an issue, but it's not. I'm not sure how useful the hourly graphs really are anyway in terms of changing your behaviour. So I don't mind too much, it just looks a bit daft. Mm -hmm. um, daily data, because it keeps a month's history, I tend to not get too many gaps. There are a couple of times where I've, I've got the odd gap here and there. Right. But on the whole, that's been okay. Have you got further plans for this? This, this is on Google, available on Google Code, isn't it? Yeah, the, the code is all open source. Um, so if anyone else wants to contribute, they could. Uh, or it's available as an executable for Windows users. Right. Uh, yeah, there's the other thing that I did is I, you can change the access to display uh, by money instead of uh, watts. So oh, for some users where a, a kilowatt value, a kilowatt hour isn't perhaps very meaningful, Seeing how much you've spent, like I can see that yesterday I spent about two pounds forty mm -hmm. on electricity, mm -hmm. is a bit more. It makes it a bit more real. 